and it's going to be Kelso to kick off, uh, kicking towards the Hoyk YM end here at Mansfield Park. So here we go then, 10 minutes each way. Ewan Ford of Kelso with the high one. Michael Robertson picks up for Hoyk. Out to Graham Hogg and Hogg bursting right through the middle already. He's over the halfway line. Has he got the support though? He's been tracked all the way by Gary Mulroy. What a tackle from the Kelso scum half. And he just puts Graham Hogg into touch on that Kelso 22. But Hoyk really setting the statement of intent there. They're going for it. Graham Hogg is chasing back. He's on his own at the moment inside the, the Hoyk 22. Now he's got John Coote to his left-hand side. Now what will he do here? He's got four Kelso men round him here. Graham Hogg and he goes right through them all. He's got Gary Johnson now right in the middle. Johnston going all the way. Ten metres in. He's walking his way to the 22. He ain't going to be caught. And it's going to be first blood to Gary Johnston and Hoyk in front. What a try. And again, Graham Hogg had four Kelso men round him straight through. And it was Gary Johnson, like in the semi-final, in support. He took a quick pass and he was off. Graham Hogg then with the conversion and he puts it over. So Hoyk with a dream start in this final at Mansfield Park. Two minutes on the clock then. It's Hoyk seven. It's Kelso nil. Hoyk with the restart. Kelso just looking to get some possession in hand. The high kickoff then from Graham Hogg. Underneath it is Chris Keane, but it goes the wrong way. That's going to be a knock-on. Hoyk playing the advantage. Bruce McNeil on the ball. McNeil going round. Dean Moody, oh he skinned him, he cuts inside and he's still going, he offloads into Michael Robertson and Robertson's going to go in and touch down, what a try, Bruce McNeil skinned it on the far side and who's in support, Michael Robertson, they really have come out all guns blazing. Graham Hogg then with the restart, this has been key for Hoyk this afternoon, has been the restart with Neil Keith Davis and Michael Robertson all challenging for that ball on the 10 middle line, again it's another high floated kick, Robertson takes it, what a take as well from Robertson out to Davis, along the line to Johnston Johnston misses out Neil Rennick, comes out to John Coots, Coots then stops, tracks where's he going? He's going backwards but then he's going to try and go round the pillar but he feeds it back inside to Rennick Hoyk playing the patient build up deep inside their own half now, as Rennick takes a tackle, he's through, he's got Gary Mulroy to beat, Neil Rennick then trying to go round Gary Mulroy, Rennick still going forward he's inside that 22, he's tackled to the ground, Robertson does well oh was Robertson taken out there, the referee having a look at that, here come Kelso now on the counter attack as the ball shipped out Mikel Hartley on the halfway line Kelso looking to get back inside Gary Johnson back there for Hoyk it's Hartley who goes round Michael Robertson and Hartley's away he's got a 2-1 and, and he's off and Mikel Hartley's going to go in for the try and Kelso back in it it's Hoyk 14 it's Kelso 5 scrum down Kelso on the Hoyk 22 on the stand side here Gary Milroy puts the ball and Hoyk knocking them backwards though but Ewan Ford picks it up for Kelso to Greg Mento Mento trying to find a gap on he's through and Mento's away inside the Hoyk 22 and all of a sudden 14 nil down they are back in it what a try from Greg Mento he could see his intent when he got the ball he just kind of off on the right shoulder off on the right knee and he was right through cut Hoyk open and Ewan Ford converts the try and it's all square in this Hoyk 7s final Hoyk 14 it's Kelso 14 Hoyk have the scrum midway between their own 10 22 as the ball comes out to Graham Hoyk Hogg gets it out to Neil Rennick. Rennick then, oh, he's kind of kind of hog caught between a hard and a rock place, but oh, he does well. Neil Rennick now he's got Michael Robertson in support, and Robertson now absolutely trundling down the far side out to John Coots. Oh, and John Coots could not call on the ball. You could see the frustration there, knocked it on, but certainly Michael Robertson galloping at a rate of knots there, and John Coots is actually struggling to keep up with him. He just about was. Michael Hartley got back in, uh, in a hurry, already scored one for, for Kelso, and he was making ground very very quickly on Robertson there I think you could probably hear him hear him coming and uh, just very hurriedly I think through the pass out maybe just could have taken his time over it a wee bit scrum down Kelso have the ball and it's Gary Mulroy with a break oh if he'd got away there it could have been trouble but Kelso still on the tack along the line Ewan Ford out to Mikel Hartley Hartley up to the halfway line he's John Kutzorz tracking him and he has to go backwards at the moment Mikel Hartley Hartley just trying to find the gap and he's still gone through what a run from Hartley and the offloads and it could be try time and it's Ian Moody that goes in on a punch as if been throwing on a card, Hartley's away the referee's pulling it back now Ian Moody has not scored the try why has he not done that? well that was silly from Mikel Hartley absolutely stupidity personified because Moody was going in for the try why did he have to turn round and try and smack Graham Hogg? that was absolute madness I didn't see what Hogg had done or, or, or said to him but either way there's no excuse you let, I mean, his, his feet had just done the talking he'd done some fantastic work 
you know, he'd gone past about uh, four or five Hoyt players and then and then timed his pass to perfection. Moody was in, as you say, and I've no idea what what caused them to do that, but it was absolute madness and a, a chance for Kelso to get their noses in front from a 14-0 deficit. Yeah, Kelso, 14, it's Hoyk, 14, Hoyk. I've got a one-man advantage now in this final. Just about half a minute to go until the uh, halftime. John Coots on the ball for Hoyk. He's trying to find the go around the wrong way and he's always through, but he's been caught, though, well by Alan Haig. He's, what, 10 metres inside the Hoyk half as the ball squirts out and it's Ian Moody that's going to pick up Hoyk now and it's Ian Moody going all the way Neil Rannick chasing but Ian Moody's going to go into the far right corner as he know Rannick takes him down Mulroy goes in but Mulroy has scored in the far right corner surely that's a try it is a try it should be a try and it has been awarded Gary Mulroy tracked by by Keith Davis but it's Kelso who go in front Kelso 19 it's Hoyk 14 So what's going to happen in this second half? Kelso have it, they're down to six men at the moment. The ball with Greg Mento. Mento just inside his own 22s, he offloads it to Ewan Ford. Ewan Ford trying to find a bit of space, but he's been caught there. Greg Mento gets it back out to Ian Moody. Though. Ian Moody having to run behind his own trial at the moment. Back then uh, to Ewan Ford. Ford's been caught by Gary Johnson in that uh, far left-hand corner. So uh, where's the ball coming now? I think it's oh, the ball's gone loose. Hoyker going to pick up. Oh, and it's touchdown, and it's a try. And it's Keith Davis. You know, Keith Davis plays in the back row. He spotted that, the ball squared it out, and he picks up and he crashes over. Anyway, scrum down, Hoyk have it, and Hoyk inside their own half at the moment. Neil Rennick in possession of the ball. Hoyk running backwards at the moment. It's Graham Hogg then on the ball, and he offloads and gives it off to Alan Haig, and Alan Haig's going to be in for yet another try. He's been tracked by John Coots. Does he touch down? Yes, he does. And it's now Kelso 26. It's Hoyk 19 with the conversion to come, and that all coming off a mistake from Graham Hogg Hoyk are the team that are trailing ball goes in then Gary Johnson picks it up out to Graham Hogg Hogg then all finds a gap and Hogg's through it and he's away Graham Hogg over the halfway line he's got Neil Rennick in support Rennick right through the middle and you can see what that meant to Graham Hogg he punched the air in delight Rennick in support and it's Rennick right down the middle and he goes over for the try and it's now Hogg 24 Kelso 26 this conversion goes over it does it's game on it's all square it's Hoyk 26 it's Kelso 26 yeah Don Buckley gets the ball to Gary Mulroy Mulroy then on the tackle it's a three on two here for Kelso on oh, the ball's inside inside taken on by Ewan Ford back to Gary Mulroy oh dear oh dear oh dear he knocks the ball on when he was clear unbelievable it's just the way he faced the ball for the pass and it's gone forward would you believe it Gary Mulroy thinking he was going to go in unbelievable here at Mansfield Park it's Hoyk 26 it's Kelso 26 two and a half minutes to go in this final ball comes in then picked up by Graham Hogg Hogg inside his own 22 feeds it out to Neil Rennick Rennick going on a wee run Rennick then cuts inside oh Neil Rennick's away now what's he going to do Rennick he's got the legs of Ford he's going to go in the right hand corner he's going all the way and that's going to be Hoyk back in front with a minute to go or so in this final Final Neil Rennick, and now it's Hoyt 31, it's Kelso 26. Unbelievable. Midway between their own 10 and 22, but Michael Robertson steals it in the line, and Graham Hogg just kicks it in downfield. Does it go into touch? Yes, it does, and it's all over. You can see what it means to the Hoyt team. Hoyt win the title for the third year in the trot. Hoyt 31, Kelso 26. Have we ever seen such a tense final in our life? That's three in the trot, it's the first time it's been done since like 1900 so uh, spoke about it all week again we didn't have a great showing at Melrose but, but this is the one we want And a real cracking final It was a good final, uh, we knew it was going to be tough, Kelso are a good seven they work hard, uh, but credit to our boys who went behind uh, came back at the game, that's what we want